Um, no, let's see, I got another one here. That's the one I just did. This one here. This one I did a little while ago, and it has a little gap on the tip too. Um, and to close that off, you can take a little bit of glue, and it doesn't take much. It takes maybe just a drop. So let's see, there's a drop going in. And I just need to get that down to the bottom. So I'm just going to take a small dowel, or you can take some music wire. Just kind of gently get it down to the bottom so that it fills that little gap on the inside. Now you can also use um, the fix-it epoxy clay to do the same thing. Um, and this will really stiffen up the, um, the tip of that nose cone. Um, so if you need a nose cone that's very durable, you'll want to go with the fix-it epoxy clay. All right, so now we're getting pretty close. And um, I'm going to pause here because I forgot one tube. And I need that tube. So let me pause. I got my tube. Um, so the, the next thing we need to do is to get, we're going to glue the, the uh, shoulder. And this is a tube coupler. And it was a long tube coupler. And I just cut it down a little bit shorter. And that's going to be going into the tube. The thing is, we want to glue it on straight. We don't want it crooked, obviously. You know, that would be a disaster. We want it as straight as possible. Um, so when we put it on the tube like this, um, and then we, we rotate it around, it will be nice and, and it will be straight. That's the ideal. Um, so for this, put the glue on the inside of the nose cone. Um, and then, uh, because we have to be really careful about gluing it into the, onto the tube. I don't want to do that either. That would be a disaster too. I'm going to let that set up a little bit. You can check it very carefully. Um, it also helps to have a dowel so you can push it out if it gets if it gets too far in. And and rotate it around because you can you can see if it's a little bit crooked and you can adjust it. All right. So now we're almost done. Uh, we just need a, a shock cord attachment. Um, and for that, I have a little piece of Kevlar. I'm going to take some scrap paper and I'm going to basically do an Estes engine or a shock cord mount style. I'll just cut a little rectangle. Smear some glue on it. Lay the shock cord at a diagonal across it. And fold it over twice. Like that. And I need to conform it to the curvature of the nose cone. Like that. And before I glue it in, I'm just going to take it, double it over, and tie a knot in it. And this will be a good point to attach our nose cone to the shock cord and to the parachute. Oops. Okay, so I have it doubled over. Now smear glue on the back side. And then this just gets glued onto the inside like that. And when it's dry, it will look like this. You can tug on it, and it's all set to go. And you can 
do a final test fit on the shoulder of the nose cone like that. And that's pretty much it. Now, there is a little gap underneath where the paper edge comes over. And you can fill that with glue if you want. You can leave it empty. Um, I like to fill them. Just fill it with glue and then wipe off the excess. And that will give you a nice tight shoulder there. And when that glue dries, it'll be perfect. It's not, it's not the prettiest nose cone in the world, but it, it's really good for a boiler plate. So that's how to make a paper nose cone. Uh, my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.